Yo guys, what's going on? It's Maximize here, bring you another commentary on how to win the game even when you are behind in League of Legends. Right, so the first step, and in my opinion, I think it is the most important step in order to win a game when you are losing very hard in League of Legends, is to stay positive. Positivity in League of Legends is a must because it is very easy to till and blame your teammates and all of that. But if you just stay positive in the game of League of Legends and keep trying to play your best even though the game's going tough and it's really rough, and then you can win. And what I mean by this is don't start flaming and don't put in the chat either that it's like GG or it's, it's over because then your team will get tilted off of you being tilted. So just don't type and also just stay positive in order to win. Right, so the next step after positivity is playing passive. You have to respect your enemies because they've got a lead over you and you are a kill behind. You can't go playing aggressive still even though you want to because playing passive is still boring and also it can be very frustrating at times but you just gotta do it because if you don't you're gonna keep feeding the enemy team and the game become even harder to win. So what I mean, so if you're playing AD carry and you, you're playing someone like Jinx, you've got to stay back and you've got to just use your rockets because they have the biggest range and also your zap which is your W to try and CS but make sure you stay in XP range because that's all that matters at the end of the day if it doesn't matter if you lose like 10 CS over the lane opponent as long as you've not died because you've still got the same experience right so now you're playing passive your enemy laners are more likely to push up because the wave is going to slowly push to you and so what you can do is ask your jungler nicely to come for a gank and sometimes they won't and sometimes they will but if they do come for a gank you can get a, a free kill on the enemy and also if they're playing aggressive then they're going to try and poke you under tower and if you can try and capitalize on this for instance if you're playing um, Ari mid lane and they try and poke you and you manage to get a charm on, off on them and then you can try and kill them yourselves even though you've got the disadvantage and they've got the advantage because they've got a lead if they misplay you can try and kill them if not just keep playing passive and wait for your jungler so now once you come out of laning phase your team might be feeding but if you follow the previous steps you shouldn't be on too many there's maybe two maximum so you should be okay it's not the best but it's alright because it's manageable you should group immediately because the enemy team are going to try and find picks on you and they're probably strong enough to dive you individually or they could just dive you if there's two of you by yourself so what you want to do is you want to group mid normally and stay together because the enemy team want to fight and so you're just going to defend mid tower and stall and it's called tur turtling so what I mean by this is you just stay under the tower and you clear the minion wave and don't force anything. You don't want to force anything when behind because they're just going to destroy you because they've got the massive gold lead and they, you just want to wait for the game to go on. You want to stall the game, you want to clear the minions. You do not want to fight. You just do not want to fight whatever you do. One tip to do when you're behind is do not contest for a dragon. A lot of people in low elo do this and I've seen some people in diamond do this is that they try and go for a steel and dragon and they try and contest dragon when dragon isn't even a big deal at le like low levels it's only the fifth dragon that's the main deal so just do not contest objectives whatever you do just give them up let them take it even if he's a baron you can try and hold off the wave it should be easy but just do not contest whatever you do because it will just end up in you dying more times and they'll still get the dragon and then they can go and get even more of it like towers in mid lane or even a baron so just do not contest the enemy team now might be getting frustrated so one of them may go for a split push to try and create more pressure for their team so what you do in this situation is if it's a 4v5 and he has no TP so a Zed can go top lane to split push because he's got a very good split push you want to fight immediately so you just want to engage as much use all of your abilities everything you've got and go a 4v5 because you've got the one man advantage which helps like bring back the gold lead as one of their laners is split pushing nine times out of ten you win the fight because they've got one less player and the, the most like one of the most important players will probably go to split push probably their mid laner ad carry 
or top line. It would never be a support guy in split push or normally wouldn't be the jungler either because they want to stay mid for the objectives like Dragon and Baron control. So now you've won the fight, you want to push every lane as hard as you can, especially the lane you just won the fight in, and try and get some towers to bring back some of that glo global gold for your teammates. And also, it puts a bit more pressure if they haven't got a mid tower, and it frees up objectives such as Baron, it makes them easier to t um, take, and also Dragon. Also, make sure that to send the player to whatever lane the enemy person was split pushing in because you don't want to lose many towers to the split pusher and you should normally send a tanky person to the to the lane that he's split pushing or someone that is most fed so they can deal with them easily not your weakest player or most important for instance an AD carry you do not want to send them to help deal with a split push because they'll just get dove and you'll lose even more so now you probably brought back the leads quite a lot so what you want to do now is do exactly the same thing. You just want to stay all together. You you must group because you don't want to get caught out. and you, They don't want to get a pick on you because that could make them snowball even harder. You just want to stay in whatever lane. Turtle again, clear the minions. Wait for them to make a mistake. If one of them solo, go and make a pick. And now you've, because it's getting later on into the game, you can get more off of that. So you can go Baron, you can force more, and you can go mid lane, get a towers. Get inhibbed and slowly start to snowball the game out of control. So then once you've snowballed it, you want to go back with the Baron buff, inhib towers, um, tower gold, anything you got, uh, and stack up on items. And then you can be the one that's forcing them under their own towers. So then they're going to be forced to turtle. But because you got the Baron buff, and also you're really strong, you don't, you can destroy them. You can dive them. You can fight them under tower. With the Baron buff and the dragons that you may have stacked up, and also the amount of gold you would have got from the towers, you just want to go down to a different lane, so not the same one with the inhib, and try and pressure them towers. Get you more gold and also more pressure on the map because the towers are down. And also the mid lane will be pushing into the base, and then the someone has to go and deal with them minions on the enemy team and then you can push either the bot lane top lane or mid lane whichever has an enemy tower and get that for um for free because it's otherwise a 4v5 and you could probably dive them if you're strong enough at that point and then off that tower uh, um and in here you can go and get the nexus because you probably get the tower get the inhib and then there'll be um someone mid so you can just pressure the nexus towers so then the other guy will have to brick bring himself back to the base and then you can just force a fight and win with the Baron buff, uh, Dragon buffs and also the amount of gold you've got over them. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and it helped you out in solo queue, duo queue or just normal games in general to make your understanding of League of Legends better. I hope you're enjoying these guys. Uh, I enjoy making them really fun. The amount of support has been incredible recently so yeah, so thank you very much for that, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.